Incumbent Chris Rakedahl and challenger David Olson took to the stage for tonight's Superintendent of Public Instruction debate. Fox 13's John Hopperstad served as the lead moderator of the hour-long debate at the Edmond Center for the Arts, for the covered a wide range of issues, including school district budget cuts. Right now in Seattle, as many as 21 schools are facing closures. Both candidates were asked about whether or not they believe the state should step in to prevent such drastic cuts. Rakedahl says he agrees that the state should help. Olson said instead of school closures, he'd like to see tutoring hops. I think the Seattle School District is going to manage as, as, as critically as it can, but there's a fundamental lack of funding in basic education that's caused this. And, and at a billion dollars for the state, you would, you would have half of their gap closed just in Seattle alone. Other than just jump out and close schools, I think that we could consider turning some of them into community hubs. Uh, members of industry could provide services to help with that so that they could provide tutoring and mentoring service to the students. Okay, thank you. The candidates were also asked what they believe should be done to make schools safer. I absolutely support school resource officers. Our school district like a year ago passed a safety security technology levy so that we could add, add additional cameras and security to our schools. But we also hired armed safe school safety officers, former police officers. They're in plain clothes patrolling the halls. I think it's something that schools should consider especially in light of what's going on. It's not just about school resource officers, but that may be part of the solution if that's what local districts choose. It's a whole lot also about student mental health and supports. It's a combination of things. And we have threat assessment system, which we built out. So when we think there's a student in crisis who has the risk of hurting themselves or others, there are teams that can uh, swoop in very, very quickly. If you missed tonight's debate, you can find the full hour discussion on our website at fox13seattle.com.